When it comes to teaching science and math, there's only so much that students can learn from listening to a lecture or reading from a textbook. And that's why teachers at Jackson Middle School in the Anoka Hennepin School District like to take a hands-on approach. In today's School Spotlight, Delane Cleveland introduces us to a teacher who's received national recognition for her teaching methods. Exercise has plenty of benefits. Go, go, go! But for these seventh graders, burning calories isn't necessarily the primary objective. Uh, this is get moving day, so it's pretty much an in-school field trip. It's an in-school field trip that has students at Jackson Middle School working on their abs, testing their jumping abilities, and doing some good old-fashioned leg work. Uh, we have a theme of each trimester, and our theme for seventh grade is get moving. Side plank, side plank. This activity side is just one of the ways that staff members teach students about movement to fit with the theme of the trimester. Sure. Ready to try again? But it's certainly not the only time Sarah Garrett and her students engage in hands-on activities. <laughs> Sarah is one of those teachers that really is constantly, I think, even probably at home, thinking what are new ways that I can teach this material to my students. Jane Matheson is a curriculum integrator at Jackson Middle School. She says that Garrett is constantly coming to her with new ideas on ways to teach kids about science. And has them do bird um, kind of investigations, mammal investigations, prairie investigations. I mean, and her kids are out in the field, which they should be, because that's what environmental science is. Are you up to the challenge, friend? If you talk to Garrett, it's easy to see why she takes that approach. If we're gonna have students be lifelong learners and like, hey, remember when we did this? And like, oh yeah, that was something I was very passionate about. It's gonna be those experiences when they're hands-on, when they're outside. It's pretty amazing, eh? Garrett has a passion for teaching, and in September, that passion was recognized by the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency. So out of the whole national you know, contest. She was one of the top 10 environmental educators in the country, and we're, we're very proud of her. It was kind of a, a mixed bag of emotions. So I was like, yay, I got something, but okay, now what? <laughs> what does that all mean? What it means is that Garrett's students are getting a top-notch science education. And while she didn't earn the top prize, it's an honor that Garrett and her colleagues don't take lightly. Sarah Garrett is the epitome of what we, we want in our teachers. For School Spotlight, Delaine Cleveland, CCX News.